Hello. I'm here today to talk about weaving in ends. I am working on nether pants. It's a pattern from Elizabeth Zimmerman out of this book, Knitter's Almanac. I have chosen to use my leftover sock yarn on these pants and I'm using it up by striping. So as you can see, I have stripe, 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 stripes. Now I don't want to be stuck at the very end having to weave in all the ends from these stripes. So I'm weaving the ends in as I go. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. Okay, I'm here up to the top where I'm working currently. The green marker here is my end of the round and that is where I'm going to change colors. I'm going to start by weaving in my new color before I get there and then I'm going to change colors at the marker and then weave in my old color after that. I recommend weaving in your ends maybe one to two inches ish uh, depending on your comfort zone and so I'm working with fingering weight yarn and I've decided to use 12 stitches. To do this I'm going to start to knit the next stitch and this is my current yarn. Here is my new yarn that I'm going to be using. Okay, So I'll put my needle in ready to knit the next stitch. Then I will lay the new yarn across the back like that. Then I will knit the stitch as normal but I'm not going to pull the new yarn through the loop. I'm just going to leave it in the back like that. and then knit the second stitch as normal. Now on the back side you can see that that new yarn is now trapped in there. I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter. So the new yarn is now trapped on the back side but you can't see it on the front side. And I'm going to pull it so that there's a short little tail left, maybe one or two inches. Then I'm going to re repeat this procedure here. So I insert my needle to knit the next stitch, lay the new yarn over the needle, knit that, keeping the new yarn to the back, and then knit the second stitch. New yarn is trapped on the back. You can't see it on the front. For anyone who has done stranded knitting, this is the same way that you trap yarn when your floats are too long. It is the exact same method that you use for that. So you put your needle in, bring the, old, the new yarn over the top, knit the next stitch leaving the new yarn behind, and knit the second stitch which completes the trap. So it's a series of two stitches that completes your trap. Okay, so you work your way over to the marker. And now it's time to change colors. So I'm going to put my needle in as if to knit the next stitch. I'm going to bring the old color over top of the new color. Alright, so old color over top, new color underneath. First stitch I'm just going to knit like normal with the new color. Now I'll be weaving in the old color and knitting with the new color. Doing the exact same thing. Lay the old color over the needle, knit with the new color, 
and pull it through, trapping with the second stitch. So, it's a little bit hard to tell because the new, the old color is uh, a color changing yarn and the very last stitch is kind of gray and the new yarn is a gray. But you can see there's two yellows here, the gray, and then on the other side of the needle I have the new gray going. So I will continue this for another inch or so. In my case I'm using 13 stitches because I'm not counting the very first stitch that I crossed it over. That's just where I've decided my comfort zone is for, for weaving in the ends. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now I will snip the old color because I don't need it anymore. I have the old color, end of round, new color. And I have the tails, the new color coming in, and then the old color going out here on this side here. So if you, if you look at it and you find you have any loose stitches or sloppy stitches or something, you can take your tails and pull them tight. I have decided to leave my tails in for now and after this is finished and I block the pants then I will trim all my ends because it has happened to me in the past that if I trim it up close to the edge before I block it then when I block it sometimes it, it'll pull the edge out or I mean pull the stitch out so there you go weaving in ends as you go for stripes